In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of downgrading from iOS 18 to iOS 17. And not only that, I'm also going to show you how to restore backup from iOS 18 to iOS 17 after the downgrade is complete. I've noticed a lot of comments from people struggling because they don't have an iOS 17 backup. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how we can make that work. Just a few important things that you must know before we start. The ability to downgrade depends on your current iOS version. Only signed IPSW files can be restored. And once a version is unassigned, there's no way to restore it to your phone. If you're watching this in the future, the version I'm showing here might no longer be available, so you may need to downgrade to the latest signed version that is accessible to you. We'll be downgrading from iOS 18 to iOS 17 and restoring an iOS 18 backup onto an iOS 17 device. This method will work for both Mac and Windows system, so no matter what platform you're on, you'll be able to follow along. We'll be using localized backups instead of iCloud, so it's crucial that you back up your data before starting this process. Downgrading will cause data loss, and I don't want you to lose any of your important information. Before starting, make sure you create a completely separate backup of your data and move it out of your default backup folder to avoid overwriting it later on in the process. I'll remind you later in the video when it's time to create another backup to safeguard your original files. You'll need a computer or a laptop for this process as we won't be using iCloud for the backups. And lastly, do not skip or fast forward through this video. Every step is crucial and skipping ahead might cause your downgrade or your restore process to fail. All right, now that we've got that out the way, let's jump into the tutorial. I'll be going through this slowly and step by step so everybody can follow along. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. First, we want to disable Find My. So open up Settings on your phone and then tap on your iCloud settings at the top and then go down to Find My. And then at the top, it will say Find My iPhone. You can see that I've got stolen device protection on. So we first have to go back to the main settings and then scroll all the way down until you see Face ID and Passcode. Tap on that and enter your passcode. and then scroll down until you see stolen device protection. Go ahead and turn that off. Now we can go back to Find My in iCloud and we should be able to turn it off. So there we go, we can just give that a toggle off. And it will ask you for your Apple account password. Go ahead and enter this and it will turn or find my. Next, we're gonna move your current backups. So by now you should have a backup of iOS 18. Go up to go and go to folder and open up this location that you see. I'll also put the address on the screen and inside this folder, you should have a backup. Move that out the way just for the time being so we don't override it. For Windows, you wanna search for run, and then you wanna enter percentage, app data, and percentage. This will take you to a folder, and you wanna open up Apple Computer, and inside here, you should have a mobile sync folder. If you don't see it there, you can also go to user profile and it may be inside here. Now let's go ahead and back up our phones. Open up Finder and then plug in your phone. It will just take a couple of seconds and you'll see it pop up on the left hand side under locations. And there we go, that's my phone now. So if you open that, this used to be the old iTunes screen, but you can do this stuff in Finder now. If you're on a Windows, you're gonna open up iTunes and plug your phone in, and then just click on the little phone icon and it will take you to the screen, which is no different to the screen. So yeah, you can see I've got 255 gig on my phone and about 211 available and my current software is iOS 18 for 
point zero point one. So to do a local backup, you want to select this option where it says backup all your data on your phone to this Mac, and then you can just go ahead and say backup. I don't want to encrypt my information, but you have a choice. Uh, this you can either encrypt it or don't. That's up to you. So we'll just give this a moment to backup. And we should have our backup now. So let's just go check that. Go back to go and go to folder and back to the mobile sync location. And there we can see the backup that we just made. Again, if you're on a Windows, open up Run and search for App Data and then go to Apple Computer. And open up Mobile Sync, your backup should be there. If it's not, try the user profile location. It should maybe be there. Now, I don't want you to move this backup that we've just made because this is a backup that we're going to use to restore your phone with. Now that we've got the backup sorted, open up your browser and go to IPSW and open up this website. It's a secure and safe website, so you don't have anything to worry about. And depending on what device you're downgrading, you have some options here. I've got a phone, so let's just go ahead with that. And then you'll see that there's a few options here. You can just go ahead and select your model. I've got an 11 Pro currently, so let me look for that. Let me just explain what's going on here. The iOS versions that are available to us currently are the ones in green. If you are looking to downgrade to any of the ones in red, unfortunately, you won't be able to as they've been unassigned. So there's no way for you to get that back onto your phone. Currently, I have iOS 18. I want to go down to iOS 17. So the latest uh, 17 available to me is 17.7. .7. So that's the one that I'll choose. So just open that. It will give you some information on the file. And then you can just go ahead and download that. Okay, now we can see we've got the file and we'll use this to downgrade our phones. So on Mac, open up the Finder and go to your phone again. If you are on a, a Windows, open up iTunes, and we should basically see the same screen now. And then if you are on a Mac, you want to press Option and click on Restore iPhone. If you are on Windows, you want to press Shift and click, and then search for the file that we just downloaded. Go ahead and open that and you will get a message just to say that your phone will be erased and restored to the version that's been downloaded. You can go ahead and say OK. And it will just take a moment here. I've left this in so you can see at the bottom uh, the cycles that it goes through uh, during the restore process. So you don't get confused if anything doesn't look the same on your side. Okay, so now we've got the messenger saying that our phone has been restored to factory settings and it's currently restarting, which it is. Um, we must just leave our phones connected and it will appear in the sidebar again once it's restarted. Our phone is just restarting and there it's back up. So let's see what version has been installed on the phone. If you get this error message uh, where it says an iPhone has been detected but it could not be identified properly, please disconnect and reconnect. You can go ahead and just do that. And then it should say activating. Okay, so now we can see that we have a brand new phone. I'm not gonna restore from a backup right now. I first wanna show and kind of see that it has the restore has been successful. So I'm gonna set this up as a new device. And there we can see the software available on my phone is 17.7. .7, and that's the one that we restored back to. So here you can see my, it says that I haven't backed up my phone, but clearly we have a backup here. And we just did it before we restored the phone. So if you get this message, uh, just unplug your phone and plug it back in. And it should give you the option to restore the backup. 
this is the part where we're going to amend the backup. So go back to go and then go down to folder and go back to the location of your actual backup. Open up your backup folder and scroll all the way down and open the file called info.plst. You can just open that up. I'm just going to use edit text on the Mac and then you want to press command F and search for product version. On the Windows, you can just press Control F, and then just below the word that says product version, you'll see it says 18.0.1. Now that is the backup I did. You want to take that out, and you want to change it to the file version that you downloaded from ISPW. So in my case, that was 17.7. .7. So I'm going to put 17.7 .7 here, and then I'll go ahead and save this. So go back to your phone, and now we can start the restore process. So I'm going to go ahead and restore this backup that we made. And it will erase your phone again, and then restore the backup. So yeah, we, we got that message again, so I'm just going to unplug my phone and plug it back in. And now it will actually start restoring from the backup that we just amended. Now remember that was an 18.0.1 uh, backup initially. We changed it to a 17 points, uh, uh, sorry, an iOS 17 backup. So once we restore this back to the phone, this backup, it's going to be compatible with the phone and it will also just give us all the information that we initially had on the 18, but it will put it on a 17 iOS. Okay, so now that that backup has restored, uh, let's check the phone and see if everything has worked properly. And there we can see that this is actually my old backup that we did. And I've got everything here. I've got my photos, I've got my apps, and I even have my background that's still on here. And we can also see that iOS version on the phone is 17.7. .7. So I really hope that this uh, method helps you if you feel stuck, um, if you only have an 18 backup. Uh, not all is lost, but uh, yeah, give this a go. And let me know in the comments down below if uh, this works for you. I would really appreciate some feedback. Even if it doesn't, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out where I can. If this video has helped you, I would really appreciate a like. And uh, maybe if you want to subscribe to the channel, that will also help me out greatly. Until next time, bye for now.